Oh yeah, see, I can just do nose swatches. Staring into your eyes. Oh, look, this is what I like to do when I'm finished with my face for the day and I'm not going anywhere. I just ruin it. But I, I need a mirror. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or I go by Prue LaRue on all my socials. Tonight I am getting ready for night shift and I really, I'm curious about my products that I have. This is my go-to work foundation or BB cream. It's the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint in Light Zero. And I want to trial it out with different primers in my collection. So tonight I'm going to put it the Veil Mineral to the test underneath it. Also I'll use the Prep and Prime from MAC and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyes which I'm going to put with, I'm going to use one of my Sydney Grace cream shadows and this one is Boardwalk. And then I'm going to come back at my end of my shift and see how it's all looking. I potentially will do checkups, I'll decide as the night, but you won't see any check-ins because I'm at work. I think part of this is that you have to see me put the products on because otherwise, like, how do you know that I did? So here we go. Battery is flashing red. Um, let's just dive in. So starting off with the Veil Primer. This is a really mattifying primer and actually doesn't get along with my other mattifying foundation. It really hates the hourglass foundation stick. Uh, that one just doesn't get along. When I've asked them at Mecca they've said you can't put matte on top of matte. And it seems so silly because it's an hourglass product and I'm pretty sure this is the only primer that hourglass have. And it, it does. It feels really nice. It does. I just I like it. I like it, the feeling. Yeah, if I put the hourglass on top, it just lifts. It's really bizarre. So, prep and prime. This is just that little pore stick, and I've got an addictive to this. I think this might be limited edition, which will be a bit sad for me, really. It does go. I'm going to try to put it here and see if it helps. Just give it any grab. My prep and prime on the lips, and this is like. A holy grail for me. It is the most moisturizing like lip balm or lip. I mean it, it's meant to be a lip primer. Uh, it's really nice light and um, <clears throat> I think the difference between this and the lip balm is that it settles in a bit better. So I, I tend to start off put it on, let it settle on, and then I go on lip products once it's dried down a little bit. So, NARS primer. And I just use my MAC 170 brush to put this on. But I, I need a mirror. Sorry, so I've got my mirror over here. I've only got about 10 minutes. So I don't have time to, uh, you know, make it look like I'm staring into your eyes. I'm just going to build up that coverage a little bit more. This seems quite high, full coverage for a BB cream, but mm, it's nice. It's got a very alcohol smell to it. So I think if you're like me and you're a bit oily, it's quite good. And it does seem to be going on quite nicely on top of the... Sorry, I forgot to... You need to buff the foundation in just so it looks the best possible. Beautiful. I should probably chuck some concealer on. The Too Faced Born This Way in light. And I'm just going to dab this a little bit under my eyes. And covering up that pimple. A little bit of discoloration here. It's a little either.
So I still haven't actually figured out my lighting fully. I'm gonna up it a bit. See that doesn't. I think if we settle here, is that better? Can you see my mistakes easier? Alright. <clears throat> so moving on with primer. Uh, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This has become, I got a sample of it. Um, I do have the full size waiting to be used. Uh, but I'm just going through the sample now. I found this really good. I get really oily eyelids. So this has been really good at just making sure like the eyeshadow doesn't become an oily mess by the end. Oh, I'm using a cream, so we'll see. Oh, I want to go to... Let's try a lip tint. The Tony Molly Cartoon Coral. Cor Coral? I think I've used that one before, but oh well. And I also did pick up a pencil. Where are you? I went to MAC the other day and I got a lip pencil, just in a bit more of a normal colour. And this is the Cultured. So I just want to shade in my lips. This is the... Oh yeah, I can't talk. It's cultured. It's a the Pro Longwear form on you. Yeah, the Pro Longwear. Um, I find this lasts quite a long time on my lips. So I like it for that reason. But, uh, I just decided last minute about lip tint. So let's put it on. Um, right, let's try. And I think I might prep it down. So I'm gonna move the eyes and put the primer on. Should be dried. Oops. Oh, so I've just got I've squeezed boardwalk out on my hand. But I think I'll just set it down. I'm just going to set down some of my Steeler eyeshadow as a bottom base. Heart. The colour Heart. And this will hopefully just blend out a little bit of that creasing that's happened. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go back to my small brush. And I think, um, well, let's try applying with a brush and see how it goes. Alright, so I just need another little squirt. Oh, this is the packaging that actually comes in. It's very cute the right way. So you can see I've just dropped some here. That. I'm just going to remove it. Really. As good as it's going to get. I can with the concealer. I probably should have set the concealer. Give them a little fat action. Oh, 
looks pretty good. And I just like putting things back in the boxes. <laughs> Quickly into brows, benefit precisely. I feel like I've done the wrong thing by this eyeshadow and then it sort of needs to have something in the middle. I'm going to use individual from that same Stila palette. I'm just trying to make it not so intense. Um, I kind of regret putting this all over my lid like this, but oh well. It's kind of stuck there. 6 p.m. And going in with the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Oh, I got my eye. Sorry, I started rushing. I'm like, oh, fucked up my face. What? That coral is looking really nice on top of this. Oh, blush. Sorry, I like to pack everything away and then as I remember what I've forgotten, which is usually mascara, usually. I tend to remember what else I've forgotten. So today I have forgotten blush. And look, you know, I nearly bought those again today. I was looking at Sydney Grace Co. because I've got that Norvino palette colours on comps on sale. And one of these is Megalodon. Must be this one or this one. But I bought them last time. No, partially because the word Megalodon just appealed to me. But I'll make an eye look with them soon. Uh, this is this Eco, Eco Tools Blush Brush. Dandelion and Coralista. And sorry, I don't do my hair for night shift, so I've just washed it, and you can see how messy it is in the morning. Finish off with a final Urban Decay D Slick spray. Sorry, battery abruptly died. Just that quick. Don't have long. 6.07. I have a fan face. So you can see all we're working with. I should have messed up my face, but I shouldn't know. Oh, look at that hairline. Alright, everything's on. And I'll see you in 12 to 13, 14 hours. About how it's all lasted. And there's a pretty little key. And Marceline's just come to say a quick howdy do. Hello. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Right. I will see you soon. Oh, hello. Good morning. <laughs> so, just back from night shift. Oh, God. This one came out to greet me, didn't you? So there you go. 
So sorry, let me just fix this setup. Um, so I've got the natural light going at the moment, which could, huh. That's not too bad. Let's, oh, should I compare it to the ring line? I'll compare it to the ring line. Oh, motherfucker. Mm. Oh, the problem with the ring light is readjusting to the level of the brightness. So I think I'm just going to like this one. I mean, that looks on par. It doesn't seem to be causing any, it's just causing me like annoyance. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for watching. And here we are for the morning check-in. It is uh, 7, 7.45 a.m. And I've been up since... When have I been up since? Um, you know what? I've been up since 9 a.m. yesterday. So I, I'm pretty tired. But I was excited to see this. I got lots of compliments on this eyeshadow all night. And it looks pretty good. Now I did take some pictures. Mm. Sorry. It's hard to try and sit up. So I'm going to look through the pictures. I'm going to put them up. Not magic. And see. See I find it interesting because in fluorescent light. The blush is all gone. I mean it looks gone now too doesn't it. Yeah. It's gone. So, do I not like the Benefit blush? Like, does that not last? Oh, no. Um, eyebrows, the... Oh, wait, I need my little mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Yes, the markings I made on my eyebrow earlier are still there. The, um... So the shadow, I actually quite like what, what it's done. So let's bring you in closer. I should have done this before I left. Was that good? That was like a stupid, stupidest face I could pull. So, do you call this crease? Look, I would say this hasn't creased on me. There is that mark from my hood. Look, that looks quite good. And I kind of like how where it's lost its pigment. I got a picture where I saw it above here and it sort of dropped off but it wasn't anything I'd be too stressed about <sighs> yeah I don't know sorry 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 lips I'm pretty sure are gone there might be a slight tint but nothing too exciting now my nose so concealer creased and I, I think that's my fault I didn't I didn't set it with the powder so I'll give it another well see how it's going oh look hilariously my nose has not held on to anything has it so but that's that, that's not partially my fault so I thought let me you know oh, I'm here. Um, I really want to try I've distracted myself what have I done? Um, I wanted to play with... Oh yes, I've got a Colourpop blush I've been wanting to try out. Um, I don't even know what shade it is because I think I'd have to look at my email. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm sure I could get it out. Yeah. But why would I? It's in a beautiful little container. Um, so... I wasn't sure if it would be something interesting to add in like nursing nursing factoids uh, into these sort of videos. It's not bad really, is it? I think I like how I've done it on this side a bit more diffused. And I wanted to try some bronzer. Oh yeah, I've got this other colourful bronzer. That I've been wanting to play with. No, I'm just look. This is what I like to do when I've finished with my face for the day and I'm not going anywhere. I just ruin it. Oh, um, it's this shade. Same packaging. She's this fresh. The Jessup 
075. So what happened was I had to administer a patient cytotoxic medications. And now these are medications that destroy the cells and they are what they use in treating cancer and like if you've had a like a transplant of any sort uh, you'll probably be on a cytotoxic medication and it's sort of like a part of chemotherapy that's that's the drugs that they use but to me the person who is not getting the drug I can get cancer from being near it which is pretty stupid isn't it so I have to wear all this extra shit to protect myself one of them being the N95 duck bill mask at deftly named I'll put a little picture in of what it looks like and that I'm sure is the reason that my nose lost all its foundation so I just want to try this bronzer I don't know I like, I'm just trying a different brush method too because why not I don't know, like I can't figure it out. I didn't realise that people had, like, you, like this is, I was going to say sound so stupid, but I didn't realise that people were insecure about their forehead size or that they had large foreheads. I didn't know that large foreheads was a thing to be worried about. I mean, my, my forehead looks large now, doesn't it? But I've always found that I tend to have a small forehead or I think I do because when I go to like bronze or like contour you know like when you go and copy the people you've been watching like it's sort of like see I've just mostly taken up half my space and I have watched that Wayne Goss um the Wayne Goss video about things and I think I am a three finger forehead so I think he said I don't need to do it but this is just how I play with things. So, I mean, I don't think, I think my foundation held up normally. I don't think there was anything too special or anything at all. Eyeshadow was impressive. I am very impressed with the Sydney Grace eyeshadow. Lips, those lip tints just don't last on me at all. So I'm gonna go to that picture and Lip tint was still on me at 9 p.m. That's when I last took pictures. So mm, it was mostly gone, I think. It they barely last three to four hours on me. Um, but let's try another colour while we're here. I'm gonna try this middle one, which I am sure should be Red Joy. Sorry, this is um this is what I do. If I sit down here. Oh, this one's actually stinging a little bit. Um, yeah, this is what I do when I finished with my makeup look is I play with everything and see um it's when I ruin it's when I ruin it, essentially. So I go out in the look. Now we wanted to try. Um, so I'm, whoa, that is bright red. The stinging has settled down, if you're wondering, as it dries. So I'm gonna try the You're So Fine Elizabeth Mott. I think, so I used to actually get these boxes called Wantable. And I think this is from that. I think this might be the only remaining product that survived. And then I just like to practice a little eyeliner while we're here. So I used to love those boxes and that's probably some of the first makeup that I ever bought consistently. Um, Wonderful actually don't do those boxes anymore. Uh, but of the makeup subscriptions I've tried, that was really good. Um, it was from the US for me so I think it was more expensive than per se normal oh my god look I did that I love post night me is like killing this so I'm gonna try you know how they draw the and they draw that let's try it out a bit yeah they, they used to send I think I got four full-size products a month 
Um, but it was really fun for me trying out so many different products all the time. And it sort of built the base up of my collection. Which it is somewhat sad to think that now I don't even own any of those products. I always spent so much money. But I did start working on a very exciting project last night. I was working on a makeup inventory. And I've been wanting to work out how much my collection cost me for ages. So a lot of it I have bought online. So it is pretty trackable. Most of my mecha purchases I do in store. So they're a lot harder to track. But Mecca also don't really have any sales actually, so that'll be good. Whereas I was looking at my, um, some of my first orders that I ever made. And I made an order from, I think now. I mean, I did a better job at the wing. Oh, this is drying horribly. I don't like the feel. It just, it feels like it will pull. Like in break. What a cute little wing. Oh, and then I've been wanting to do this too. I've got the Lancome big colour top coat. So you wait for your mascara to dry and then put this on and it makes you... Oops. I got the gold one. Um, it makes... Look, I'm not really sure why I thought this was a good idea to buy. To be perfectly honest. Anyway, so I'm going to sit down and like try and figure out how much all my eyeshadows cost me. But it's, it's a bit confronting too, to be honest. And then like where, like which ones I still have and stuff. Because um, I do, I have given quite a few away I'd say. And then I bought ones for a gift. Wow, that's really chunky. That lash. And then I got some up there. I was like, maybe this was better on the bottom lash. Look, I don't know why I bought this product. I thought it looked really good when I saw it. How stupid is that? So I put it on the bottom lashes here. You can't really see it. Like maybe if I smoked out some brown. I can't be bothered doing that right now. I've got a dot up here. That's my fault. Uh, these lashes just went like crap with it. These are better. But the gold just makes it hidden amongst all that. It's very disappointing. Oh wow, that, that red is very vibrant. Um, I also, I wanted to put, I think I figured out this colour is, oh look, you can just lift it up. Yes. This colour is Megalodon here. I want to, I want to put that on my eye for some reason. And I'm going to put it on top of this because that's just, this is how I roll post night shift. I didn't even think about what colour this would make mixing them together. Ooh. I just, can I, just, I just want to put, mostly I wanted to see the colour. I wonder if you could do cheek swatches. Would cheek swatches be better than eye swatches? They'd be way easier to do. I'd happily sit here and put eyeshadow on my cheek.
but I think my eyeshadow does hold like it's a smoother surface. So it shows through my nose. Oh yeah, see, I could just do nose swatches. I think the cheek's quite an effective way because you could really fit in a lot there. Oh, so these are my swatches of Megalodon on my face. Um, I'm really... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, this is just what happens to me when I get home. Anyway, sadly for me, I'm still not very sleepy, as you can probably tell. So I'm going to watch some YouTube probably. Oh, where's Becca, the Becca shiny one? And I've been wanting to put, what other colours are you? Oh yeah, they're always selling opal. Like it's in every, every mini ever. And I was wondering. What it looks like. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. So that lip's dry now. I'll probably, I'm gonna wash my face now, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch some YouTube, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And bonus question: Should I sell the Seven Patina palette? I've swatched it. I know I've used a shade or two. Oh, I have. I thought I hadn't opened the. I was like sick, I can be like, I haven't even opened that stupid pigment. How does that go with Megalodon? See, I like cheek swatches, I'm cool with that. Uh, I just wish it was smaller. I'll keep pondering. Anyway, thank you for like maybe, oh crap, I just, I didn't put the lid back on the pigment. Saved. I only lost a little. Anyway, thank you for watching. I may be back in moments. I may, I may end the movie here. Video. I may, thank you, thank you. Just thank you. Mwah.